everybody, Mo here, and today I'm bringing you guys a sweaty Thursday because there are a couple of tournaments this weekend. Um, I know OLS is having a tournament this weekend, and as well as I think there's a Brazilian tournament going on this weekend, I'm not too sure. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with all the tournaments going on, um, I recommend following Santupe on Twitter. He always posts the like daily tournaments, like not just on the weekends, but there's literally tournaments for LOR every single day. And he has a spreadsheet and he uh, tweets every single day about all of the tournaments happening every single day. So I'll have, a, um, I'll have his Twitter bio or his Twitter link down in the description below, as well as uh, the, the links to Runeterra AR, because that's where he's all my stats and the lineups here. So uh, we're going to go over uh, two lineups here that I would be using this weekend that I would recommend. And then I'll tell you which one I would personally play. Uh, as well as we're just going to take a quick, very quick look over the meta to see if anything has shifted since our meta Monday. Um, overall, it does not look like it really. So most popular deck is still Jace Lux, but the second most popular has uh, shot up has been Elite. So basically, Elite has gotten extremely popular. Um, we see here we're in a very mid-range meta because we got you know, mid-range Demacia, mid-range Demacia. Um, we have like mid-range Sharima. We have anti-mid-range, back to mid-range Demacia. Aggro with like a tiny hint of mid-range this like a combo deck and like aggro can kind of be mid-rangey aggro so yeah out of the top eight it's just like a lot of mid-range and then some like hints of aggro that can be potentially mid-range and then of course you have jace heimer which is like potentially mid-range with your turret aggro depending on how you want to play it again i don't highly recommend playing the quietest variants but some people do um this deck should be good into all the mid-range decks though like uh let's see here yeah like you're good into kaisa evelyn you're good into this Gwyn deck, you're good into J or sorry, the Rumble Vein, you're good into the like mono elites, you're like 50 50 ish into the uh Jace Lux, but I know you're like slightly favored into all the Demacia decks. If you see here, like this is its worst matchup, the mono gear or the mono Demacia elites matchups. Second worst matchup is Jace Heimer, so there you go. So, yeah, very much in a mid range meta. So with that information, there's a couple things you can do with that. Um, you could either choose to just, you know, play the these like top rated decks, because as you see here, you can just play like Lux Jace. Okay, then you can play Baron, you know, Jarvan. Okay, there you go. Yeah, like the two like most played decks, fairly high win rates. And then you just say like, what's a good third mid range deck that complements what I'm trying to do here? It beats the like keg combo decks here. So you're like beating those, you're beating Azir Aurelia, you're beating like various aggro decks here just because you can match their tempo. I think Jace Lux actually struggles against the aggro decks. Um, yeah, see, you're like not good, not good, not good, you know, <clears throat> not good into the Revelers Feast version. So um, you can either choose like there, do you want your third deck to be good into aggro or weak into aggro? And that'll probably be your biggest decision. Um, a third mid range deck that'd be kind of weak into aggro is probably going to be your like Evelyn Kaisa deck here. Oh, you see here, it's like loses to aggro, lose to aggro, lose to aggro, lose to aggro, aggro, like pseudo aggro, uh, not aggro, but you lose like a zero Aurelia now. So there is um, a lot you can do with this third deck and it really just comes down to like what you're expecting people to play if you're expecting people to play aggro maybe it's like a smaller tournament or you know some of the people in the tournament um then maybe you want to tech for that if not you can just play something that like there's that evelyn kais is a very solid third deck you just disrespect aggro and just say like okay opponents show me your you know keg like this is another deck that's very good into the keg combo decks it's like show me your keg combo deck show me your like random bandle city piles you're like pandle city pnz control like all these pnz decks your rise decks like i'm just gonna kind of smoke you and all three of these decks are fairly decent to rise i believe um except for i think this one isn't very good oh this one's also very good into rise yeah so all these decks are very good into rise it's just because of how much pressure they apply so people apply a lot of pressure onto rise by going six wide and rise is very bad at uh, uh, dealing with these like wide aggressive pressure style decks i said that multiple times now um so yeah that's that's basically where the meta is and that's your biggest decision there your second decision is do you want to be beating these mid-range decks so i have two lineup examples here so this lineup right here is going to be a actually we'll go right here first so this lineup is going to be to beat the like most um 
played the most popular decks on ladder so for instance if most players just kind of say like oh i want to play in a tournament this weekend let me just load up like the most popular decks on ladder the like jace lux the jarvan and also um don't forget you can use these in your gauntlet also which in gauntlet i promise you most of the gauntlet decks and most of the gauntlet lineups are either going to be not real like completely fake gauntlet lineups of just like meme decks tier 9 decks or they're going to do what a lot of the seasonal players did which is just find like the most popular decks that go together that they enjoy and play them and if you look here the top three most popular decks that fit in a lineup and also is just like a coherent lineup is you know kaisa evelyn jarvin uh like elites and then jace lux very coherent all mid-range all have like fairly similar tables and um they're just really popular really decent so uh, i mean kaisa evelyn has like a much lower run rate than the other two but it's a uh, very very fine very fine deck to play um and all these kind of share a lot of weaknesses though so jacks orn beats all of them if you look here jacks orn 42 percent jacks orn is 36 percent and you go here jacks orn is 33 percent so jacks orn smokes all three of the most popular mid-range decks okay what's another deck oh Ashel blanc here 26 percent win rate for kaisa evelyn against this so 26 percent there um, let's go to elites okay 43 percent there okay let's go to jace lux jace lux is 40 percent there so their best matchup is going to be 43 percent into you that's pretty good okay let's look at the third deck i don't remember i think i put um rumble vein yeah rumble vein okay so let's look at the rumble vein uh matchup table oh okay 42 percent we'll round up there 42 percent in that matchup you come here you have Oh, 48%. Okay, that's getting pretty okay. But then you come here and you have... Where's it at? 44%. So the best match appears like 48%, almost 50-50. Everything else is worse. So if you just want to beat these like three mid-range decks, the three most popular decks, the three mid-range decks, I highly recommend this lineup. Um, these deck lists... Uh, again just pulled from ar is not my personal deck list um so if you see anything you want to change obviously feel free to do that i highly recommend people build decks to your comfort zone to your comfort level and build decks that work well for you and your play style um yeah this is what i would be on jacks orn ash leblanc and the um rumble vein this lineup it looks just very very solid your biggest weakness with these i believe is just like two of them lose to aggro really hard like um i know Jax orn and ashley blanc just lose to aggro extremely hard i'm not too sure about how um vein rumble does but i assume it's just a race it's just like can your rumble with overwhelm kill them before they kill you with a six wide board not too sure um but that's probably how the race comes down to it um so yeah so you're gonna be really weak into aggro but aggro is not real right guys like no no one's gonna play aggro so don't worry about it and then the third deck is aggro <laughs> the third lineup is basically just like aggro um i'm sorry second lineup so this is uh anti gen the same like rumble vein deck but then we're gonna have quinn uh vein which isn't like really aggro but it's like pseudo aggro because hollowed stacks are kind of aggressive so and what this lineup is supposed to do is this lineup is supposed to beat the control decks. Um, the You're going to like lose to the mid-range decks a, a little bit. Um, we don't know. Annie Jen is actually fairly decent to a couple of them. Like Annie Jen is fairly decent into Jace Lux. Annie Jen is fairly decent into the Kaisa Evelyn. See, you're 27%, 27%. Um, but I believe you just get absolutely farmed by Elite. So let me see here. Oh, no, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, yeah, you get farmed. So it's like 57% favored um for the elite stack so uh, you can probably ban elites and still do fine into the mid-range lineup oops into the mid-range lineup because um let's see J uh quinn vane or sorry quinn gwyn um i don't think is too great into these though uh quinn gwyn i don't even know if it'll show up on this matchup table um but what i basically did is i just took some of the highest win rate decks um so instead of going to matchups and most popularity another way you can sort decks is just through win rate and look at this boom like literally um some of the highest win rate decks like out of they're playing three of the five highest win rate decks in the game right now the only other two is jacks or and like very much you could just play annie Jin over um ash leblanc and you're not favored into elites anymore but you're still like absolutely smoking the other two so if you run into that triple mid-range lineup you can just ban the elites deck and you know go to town um and then outside of that you have like 
Fearsome doesn't seem too impressive to me. Um, Fearsome has been very mid, in my opinion. And then, yeah, Gwyn, uh, Gwyn Quinn is seemed very, very solid. So that is, uh, that's where I got this lineup from, is instead of looking at the most popular, I just looked at the best performing, kind of looked at their matchup tables, say, saw, hey, these kind of beat, you know, really relevant decks. You can't just say like, oh, this deck has a really high win rate, but what are you beating? And the answer is like, Andavia Karma, like this is like championless control or something. Yeah, championless control this keg deck, the mono, like, Shurima, like, all these, like, not real decks, and be like, oh, my deck is good. But if you go down more, you notice that you're still beating, like, all the good decks. Like, you're beating Jace Hymer, beating Jace Lux, beating Rise, beating um, Elites, beating Ash LeBlanc. Like, you're, you're still doing fairly well. Um, it just, you have to, like, look more down and make sure that the decks that have high win rates just have high win rates in the matchups that actually matter to you. Um, that's what these do. And for me, personally, I would probably play this one. I would play the Ash LeBlanc um actual blanc jacks Orn, and then the uh keep forgetting the name of this deck the vein rumble um there's a small chance i swap out vein rumble for like uh any uh gin and then just ban like i said just ban away the um just ban away the elites deck because elites is decent into it um but that's just because i usually have i've never had success with rumble vein um, but I, because of this tournament, these tournaments this weekend are kind of just like, you know, learning experiences. That's how I always viewed grassroots tournaments and small tournaments that aren't just like the major, um, opens and seasonals and stuff as I treat them as learning experiences. I would probably bust out the Vade Rumble here just to get, to get more practice in a more competitive environment with the deck. So that way, if I do need it and it ends up being like insanely good and everyone's swearing by it, my teammates tell me it's really good. I have more practice on the deck prepared for the following, um, major event so speaking of ma following major event don't forget guys that the season actually starts fairly soon the season starts i think like on the 27th uh let's see here 28th 29th something around somewhere around here the 28th 29th so like towards the end of this month is the first is the end or sorry is the start of the first actual season and the end of beta season so it'll be very cool very very excited so if you have any friends trying to get into lor into competitive lor and they don't know a place to really start but you want to try and get them you know a little bit caught up before the season actually starts so that way they don't just like jump right in and everyone's already trying to grind for their world's points and they're trying to understand how the game works send them to this channel it's the best place for competitive entertainment content um yeah posting i'm trying to post you know consistently five videos a week for you guys oops what the get back here um yeah, like I said, I'll have the link. I'll have this link to both lineups in the description. It'll take you to uh, this screen, and then you can just like copy the deck codes like this. It just makes things very easy. What are you, what are you doing this for? It just makes things very easy to see, um, all in like one image. So it makes things really oh, because I keep clicking on the top here, and this takes me back to the thing. Um, I see. So and it, it just makes things very easy for these visuals uh, for you know recording videos and stuff like that but that's gonna be it for this video that's gonna be it for the sweaty thursday hope you guys enjoyed it um i hope you guys do well in the tournament this weekend like i said also link to send to twitter down in the description below but that's it for me hope you guys enjoy it i'll see you in the next video